All right, everybody, we're building a custom 94 Nissan Pathfinder. It is air ride, bagged and bodied. Um, I'm pretty much going through the entire vehicle, and this is the door. And in a previous video, I got this door basically ready to block once more and paint the door. Uh, both of these back doors have come out really nice. And since then, like two days three days ago i decided to shave all four door handles so i'm going to go back and get this back down to bare metal and i'm going to weld in a panel to shave that on both of these doors and i've got this that came off of a front door and i was just taking the body line out and using it to shave other doors on other vehicles i've had many of these so what i'm going to do i'm going to keep the body line on this panel and i'm going to take some of this i know it's got a sticker on it but i just need a little piece of scrap metal and i've got some way better metal shears than these but i cannot locate them I'm going to try to use these for this and I will get a sharpie and I'll figure out what size that I need it'll have to be bent at a 90 fold it over and then cut to that angle as well all right let's get started here I went ahead and made a cardboard template and I cut it halfway through so that I can bend it around that edge. This will get me pretty close to where I need to be. And I cut that out with my shears and made a line. Now I'm going to use this to try to bend it on that line. And I need a basically a perfectly 90 degree angle. So I'm going to try to bend that pretty good right to a 90 and see how close I am all right so this piece I've got it at a 90 degree now but it is not going to be good enough it's supposed to be flat and it's got a bend in it and then right here in the light you can see some little dents I'll work on that after I get it cut to fit so I'm going to have to cut this edge all the way around to fit and then I will cut this bottom edge to fit and once that bottom edge fits it will overlap like this I will most likely have to cut this edge again but I don't want to cut off too much the first time because then I'll have to cut a whole new piece alright I'll cut you back on okay I've used my grinder with a flap disc it's basically just sandpaper and I have trimmed this edge to where it lines up pretty good and what I'm doing now is I'm trying to get this pushed flat and then tack weld it it's gonna take me a little while to tack weld this because I do not want this to get hot at all if I let this get hot, it will warp this panel. And I will spend longer on body filler. I will spend longer doing body filler than I would have if I had just waited and not have to use the body filler because it didn't get warped. So it's a hair high right here, so I'm going to push that down to where it is flush and then tack weld. I'll have to push it out right here this was not a perfect fit it should be pretty good though whenever I'm done there are holes on the back side that were used to put the door handle in with it was a 10 millimeter uh, nut that holds the door handle on so I can push that real easy from the back side if not that then I would have had to use magnets and tried to pull that or a stud could weld a stud and pull it with a stud to where it was flush and then weld and I've got these body hammers that I can use 
to tap around if I need to once this is welded in feels like it's got just a slight bit of bow in it so I may end up having to tap right here but it should work out pretty good and then I can just take a flat block and sand that down with the body filler it should smooth out real nice all right so I've got a whole bunch of little tack welds going on here and once this is solid I'm going to try to fill in all these little spots. So once I get all of this solid, I'm going to come back and grind this down. And I'm going to grind slow as well, not to ever get this very warm. So I'm going to grind that down smooth and then go from there. I went ahead and grabbed a brand new flap disc. I turned the door over and I got this shaped pretty good and I'm gonna put some Bondo squish it in them little holes right there should be good to go I'll flip the door over and we'll look at the other side all right that's what we've got it's all welded in pretty solid there's a couple little spots it should be good to go feels like it's gonna be a hair low right here but it should work out pretty good. Alright, I used a block with 80 grit paper. And I scuffed this up a little bit so that my Bondo will stick. And what I'm using, body filler, not Bondo. This is Orion's. premium body filler and last time I used this was on these doors and these things smoothed out perfectly real fast I was super impressed I really don't think it was me I think it was the body filler but uh we'll try it again we'll see if this smooths out which that's nothing compared to what I did on these doors this should smooth out really really quick so I'll cut you back on in just a little bit. This is the first um, coat of body filler. And I've got some pinholes, some low spots. I'm going to go ahead and hit this with another coat. But first I'm going to blow this off with a gun. So what that will do is remove all of the filler from all of the sand scratches and low spots so that the next coat of filler will actually have something to grab instead of a bunch of dust. This down here I'm going to hit just a little bit more with a piece of sandpaper just on my finger. And I'm going to call that good down here. All of that. Well there is a low spot right there. I might hit that just a little. And right there is something. So I'll go ahead and give that a little coat. Just a thin coat basically on that should be good to go after that I went ahead and covered the whole thing and I'm going to hit it again with 80 grit I may come in with something a little softer 180 220 um, after I hit the high spots and get it cleaned up and I'm gonna just use my finger down here with a piece of sandpaper and clean that up but I can use that block for this edge right here and I'm going to try to get the roundness to match the edge all the way down to there. And I'm going to try to keep that roundness in here. And then keep that roundness here. So you don't only have to keep it flat here and right on that edge. But you also have to keep your roundness, your edges, correct. And I've kind of started on the other door. I've got this cut out, but not bent or anything. I did that while this Bondo first coat was curing. And my movie just ended, so I've been doing this. Start of this video was less than two hours ago. So it doesn't take forever to do this. But 
I think it'll be pretty nice once I get all four doors done. And, uh, all right, I'll cut you back on in a minute. So after the second coat with 80 grit, I've not stepped up to a higher grit yet, but it's smoothed out real nice. And I've just got a piece, I folded it over onto itself and I am just working out in here a little bit. And I'm looking at my phone and doing this while trying to hold my phone still. So this is not real good. But that's basically what I'm doing right here. And you can see real easy the spots that are not sanded are low spots and the high spots are the parts that have been sanded. This should smooth out pretty nice though. This is on the inside of the door. I'm not real concerned about it. And your high fill primer will hide a lot of things as well. And once I spray high fill primer, I will step up to a 220, 320, somewhere around in there and depends on what I see wrong if it looks like I'm gonna need another coat of primer then I will do 220 and then another coat 320 so this these scratches here if my there we go that will smooth out with high fill primer I'm not worried about that All right, I'll cut you back on in a little bit. All right, um, that's my second coat and it is done. Everything smoothed out real nice if my phone will focus on that. And I am going to call that good. So what I'm gonna do is let this cure until tomorrow. This might shrink. I've I've had some shrink before, and uh, kind of sucked. So I'm gonna let this sit and do whatever it wants to do for a full day, and then I will spray. Um, I hit this a little bit with some sandpaper, so I'm gonna spray around in here and just kind of taper it off. I'm not gonna tape anything off. I'm just gonna hit it with the gun, and I will quit painting here. I'll paint all of this and I'll quit painting here and I'll paint around there I just kind of messed it on and hit this spot at least twice and the rest probably once and just kind of gradually taper that off and that's not I can't feel that so that should be okay everything else should be fine all right this is really smooth that was sealer primer and to get sealer primer you just add a little bit extra thinner in this primer that I was using where's it at that's epoxy that is not it Orion epoxy that's one of the primers that I've been using it is a high feel it's probably over here hold on this is what I've got on it. It's actually a Tamco. It's not Orion. This is what I had on the shelf. Whenever I run out of this, I will switch everything over to Orion. That stuff seems to be amazing. Everything I've used from Orion so far has been top-notch quality. All right, I'll cut you back on. I went ahead and added another coat to this because I had a low spot right here when I was shaving this door I got in a hurry and I wielded too fast I know better but learn from my mistake that I've learned many times now that you cannot wield fast so I had a slight dip right here that I noticed and I went over back to this door and it had the same dip so I cut down to bare metal around that dip 
and I'm filling this and now trying to smooth it out. I've got this one smooth and pretty much ready for primer. It feels really good. There's a couple little spots right here in that bend. That bend is really hard to sand. But I'm going to just let high fill primer take care of that. And this body line wasn't perfect. So while I was in here, I hit that with some of this just to smooth the body line up a little bit better. And I am using these blocks that will form two contours. And I'm using this one. It is round. I'm working it that direction, trying to get it. There's a dip right there. I'm trying to keep that dip, but keep it flat from here to here. So the long block is doing that for me. And using these other ones, this one's a little bit squishy. So I can take off some of the high spots with that and finishing it off with this one. It's actually got 320 on it, but it's okay. All the scratches that I'm getting will cover with high fill primer. I'm not worried about that. And I will cut you back on later. So I am ready for some high fill primer. And we're using the white high build from Tamco. It makes us four to one. I don't need hardly any. So I put that in my little cup here. And I am about to filter this as I put it in my gun. This is a 2.5 tip gun. I should not have to thin this to spray with a 2.5 tip. And we are going to try to fill in all of the other little little nicks and whatever little sand scratches and a slight low spot here and there it will fill that as well i'm gonna go ahead and try to get these doors knocked out i've got my ceiling fans going i've got six ceiling fans in here really circulating the air so that will help this cure those ceiling fans moving the air around moving all of the gas vapors off it's not warm in here but that would also help it cure but I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Um, a lot of times, most of this, most of this body filler I, I, I did yesterday. And it is 10.30 in the morning today. And so it's been 18, 20 hours, um, 16 hours on some of it. But for the most part, this has sat for a full day. And I'm thinking that that should give plenty of time for it to uh, shrink or whatever it wants to do. This body filler is really nice. I didn't even have to use a finishing putty. And it is the Orion that I've shown you. And I'll spray this primer on pretty thick and then I will cut you back on. Alright, I've got a little thing issue right here. I'm going to have to hit this again with some primer, but I will block this down. I'm going to step up to 180 or 220 and block both of these doors and get them a, a little bit smoother than that. And then I'll cut you back on. All right, so I've mixed up some soapy water. Just I used like a Dawn dishwashing liquid or something. And I am blocking this down. So you can see right here is peaking a different color. So that is going to be a high spot, which that is fine. That's pretty flat. And right here is a high spot. That's kind of a big deal because it introduces real quick. This introduces real slow. So that actually is going to show and I can feel that so what it is it's low on the sides of it and I'm probably just gonna leave that but it won't be terrible I'm gonna put another coat of primer so I'm gonna block it again but I'm just blocking around and this is a hard block it's not gonna contour I went ahead and hit this edge right here, the body line, and it feels a whole lot better. You can see a 
few high and low spots in it. It's really sunny out here. It's a beautiful day. Um, I'm probably going to block this whole door again. But I will hit this again with some high fill primer. And I'll do the other door the same. And then after I block that once more, I will probably just seal these doors up. And sealer, I'm using this same primer. I'm just going to thin it down pretty thin. And it will seal off all this stuff to where nothing shows. All the body filler. And it will fall into some of these sand scratches as well. Most of that, I don't know if the camera will even show it, but most of that sand scratch will come out in this coat. This next coat is just for basically precautionary to make sure everything comes out. This is 180. The next coat I will probably step up to a, what is it, a 220. Golly, I can't see in here now. Um, I think it's this one. Yeah. No, oh, that's a 320. That'll still be fine, though. I'll just do that. And it'll be really, really smooth. And then I can spray in my sealer. And I'll cut you back on. Everything seems to be worked out real nice. This is really smooth. So this one... I have sanded down with the 320 after another coat of the high fill primer and I'm taking my soapy water and I'm using this just to keep my panel wet and I'm using this with the 320 and it is the soft one that will uh, contour to all the shapes and then I'm going to come back with a red scotch bright and do all of my edges and then I will put sealer primer on this in about an hour, hour and a half. I can put this back up in storage, completely shaved. That door is going to be smooth. All right, I'll cut you back on. Got the doors all done. Alright, till next time, I'll see y'all later.